I haven't even seen my own friends because my own friends be doing too much for me. Hey guys, so I know I haven't been vlogging. I know I kind of went missing. I told you guys, if you guys read like the YouTube community post, um, that I will be back soon. I didn't know when. I honestly don't know if you guys are even going to see this the week of. Um, but I did just want to film because... I don't know something just told me to just turn the camera on so i look crazy right now i haven't got my eyelashes in since i've been back i kind of just took i'm taking a break from them right now um i haven't been doing my hair i've literally been just taking time to myself um i just i don't know i feel like we as content creators sometimes we lose like the motivation we're not inspired we just literally need a break but we feel so guilty taking breaks when they're needed like just a mental refresher just to focus on ourselves just to not have a camera in our face all day feel pressure to produce good quality content content that's interesting yada 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 because i don't know if you guys know this but i feel like a lot of us are really hard on ourselves too like we won't put up something because we don't find it interesting but even though you guys support us so much that you will watch anything we do so yeah i was basically in that mood because after traveling out of the country to orlando with harper stuff like that i just was burnt out honestly um like i needed to just slow down the pace of life so basically since i've been back i've done absolutely nothing like me and harper have just been on chill mode so yeah and then i had like some work to catch up with so i had like two hauls going out for this month i told you guys that i was gonna stop doing hauls as much so that officially starts now so yeah i only signed for two hauls in november i think one haul in december and one haul in january and that's how i'm leaving my calendar um, i'm not really pressed to do sponsor content right now so yeah i mean i told you guys that's what it was going to be and i am sticking to that just because i just feel so tired of doing them um and i know like it's not fair to you guys it's like you know i'm telling you all these nice clothes to buy and they are nice clothing they're nice outfits that i really like but like if I wasn't getting that stuff for free and getting paid to do it, like, I wouldn't be having packages of 20 items coming to my house four times a week. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not practical for an everyday human. So, and I know that. So, yeah, like, before I wasn't, um, like, actually filling out a calendar. Like, I just was accepting things that were coming through if I knew I was available that week. Or, like, if I could put two videos out in one week, I was doing it. And now I'm just like, okay we get it so yeah you guys are gonna get a couple of lookbooks they have like nice little party dresses if you are celebrating the holidays like some nice winter pieces that are versatile and you can mix up um but other than that yeah heart so yeah so i haven't signed any new contracts um and i just honestly am gonna keep it that way i have had contracts that have come through but i just had to kindly decline so you know it's not even about the money anymore um it's just i just need a break i just need to sit back relax produce content that i really am excited to do i don't know what that is yet because i just have like i lost my spark right now but you know it's fine especially i think this always happens to me too when it starts to get um when it starts to get dark super super early i feel like the common person goes into like not a depression but like you just you find yourself kind of feeling a little bit wonky because your body is just like not wanting to do anything because it's so dark so early like literally by five o'clock it's pitch black outside like literally i don't know i feel like they took like seven hours out the day but it's whatever so yeah that's pretty much what's been going on with me but yeah and i want to treat myself to something nice so i don't know what's that going to be i've been doing really good with saving money and making big girl plans and my future and stuff but i still need to treat myself to something nice but i haven't seen any shoes or a bag or nothing jewelry wise that i like except i really want this bulgari ring that she cost like twenty two thousand dollars though so it's like i'm gonna sit that one out um yeah and i'm honestly so tired of this all the junk again in my room like i'm thinking about selling like a majority of my shoes I just I cannot I cannot I cannot I just get in these spaces mentally where I can't do it but yeah so today is Monday so I just figured I would start the vlog off today so maybe tomorrow we'll go to Target or something just so I could get an idea of what I want to get her for Christmas she didn't ask for toys this year she said she just wants some new babies and baby clothes of course so 
yeah maybe tomorrow we'll sit on the computer and i'll show you guys what i'm looking at for gifts for everybody that way you guys could get some gift ideas as well um i do want to go to home goods at some point in this week just to get like some knickknacks for people because I, I like building baskets but yeah other than that i haven't been up to anything so i don't know throughout the week i'll probably open up a little bit more i also think i have been feeling super uninspired because i want to get back to like the super super vulnerable me like i feel like the vulnerable me is the reason that people came to me and i that's how i built my audience and i felt like once i got out of that space i just never touched on things like that anymore and i do want to get back to speaking about those types of things and you know being relatable for you guys and letting you guys know that like shit like this is really possible um but yeah so these are just things that all have been on my mind i need to start journaling again but yeah i'm gonna lay down because i'm starting to feel sick again um and harper stole my banana that i had in here so yeah i will see you guys tomorrow hopefully i look cute because i look freaking crazy right now but yeah toodaloo boo how like your girl i always say this at the end of everything this is ridiculous but yeah here go the dog here go the dog so i just got back from um target and stuff so i just figured i would do like a mini little haul like we usually do my room is literally a mess but i don't even care so i picked up a um silk eye mask this one is by casa luna so it's 100 percent silk they also had the um oh sorry they also had silk pillowcases it was $40 for one suit, uh, so, uh, for one pillowcase. case. So, yeah, I didn't pick them up though, just because right now I have so many pillows on my bed. So I need to figure that out before I get any pillowcases. But I just picked this up because I actually like sleeping with eye masks. Um, when I fly, I always have these on because, um, you know, they give them to you. So I sleep with them on the planes, but then I never had one at home. So I figured I just would get one because I'm a really light sleeper. So yeah, I figured maybe that would help. Um, I just picked up like some body care and stuff. So I just picked up some toothpaste for Harper, some floss picks. I picked up an electric toothbrush, some a mouthwash. Um, I picked her up some saline mist because we both have colds right now so i picked this up for her she doesn't like like blowing her nose and she doesn't listen to me when i say like if she just goes in the bathroom and lets the water hit her face it'll help she doesn't like doing that so i just got her this so she can feel a little bit better um i got her the frida baby vapor bath bombs so that these could help her a little bit as well i know they're for babies but they're actually for two-year-olds and up but yeah so i picked these up for her so she get like some relief in the tub i picked up um a peppermint essential oil and then the dove dermacare scalp stephanie was telling me that this dove line is really really good so yeah i picked up the two-in-one and then i also got the shampoo and conditioner because Sometimes I get in the shower and I just don't feel like doing the whole shebang to my hair. So I got the two in one for those days and then I got the actual shampoo and conditioner for the days I want to wash my hair. Um, I picked up this pack of Uno cards because these are so, so cute. They're just like very sleek and minimal. You guys know I have the Keith Herring ones, um, the collector's one. But I just got these as a regular pack to have. But yeah, these are super, super cute. They're coming out with like so many different variations of them. I cannot keep up. I picked up a Grinch sweater for baby Ella for Christmas. You know, I am just so sick of myself. This shit was $14 and I was in there. I really went to Target because I just was trying to see what I want to get Harper for Christmas. She said she doesn't want a lot of baby toys. I already told you guys. She said she just wants new babies and new clothes. So they didn't have a lot of preemie clothes for boys. So I didn't really pick up anything from there. Um, and I also just want to get the boy doll first to make sure if he fits preemie or newborn clothes um but i'm pretty sure he fits preemie because it just fits tighter and cuter so yeah i'm just gonna order the baby dolls online this week and then order like a lot of clothes um from like actual baby sites because target never sells preemie stuff so yeah um so this was the regular shampoo and conditioner that i got it smells clean i can't really smell it because i have a cold but i can smell it like a little bit I got her these like workout micro shorts. I got them in an extra small and a small because Harper's so skinny that like the extra small is like it's gonna fit her. But I got her the small just in case. Um, 
you know homegirl loves jammies so i got her this little jammy onesie but it's shorts because she hasn't been liking pants lately so i picked that up for her i picked up a sports bra because she swears she's a big kid she likes more sports bras last thing that i got was a frida baby humidifier three-in-one diffuser and nightlight i just got this because i used to always read the humidifiers are really good for people with bad skin and also because i'm sick right now i just need one like i cannot breathe whatsoever so yeah i just picked it up and put the peppermint essential oil in it and we gonna ball out tonight to go to sleep so yeah my room is a joke but i don't even care right now i just can't even entertain the idea so i'm going to take my clothes off and get in bed and watch some more christmas movies so i don't know when you guys will see me next because i only vlog because i went driving like i didn't feel like vlogging while i was out or anything i'm just not in the mood so yeah that was it for today so sweet so short so simple but whatever take what you can get and i know what you're thinking asia how many times are you gonna wear this sweatshirt as many times as i want because it was 200 dollars my name business Santa. Tell Santa what you want for Christmas. Mmm, fidget toy. A what? Fidget toy. And what else? Uh, lime. Mm-hmm. Play-Doh. Mm-hmm. Baby stuff. Mm-hmm. Baby clothes on me. Mm -hmm. And... And baby bread Santa. <laughs> That's it? Yep. Okay, I say okay, bye, thank you. Bye, Santa, see you soon. I can't hear him coughing. I recorded it. I'm going to put it on his mailbox for him. So he can listen to it on his phone. And this is blinking red. That means it's recording. Hi, guys. It's me, Harper. You see, I got glasses. So today we're going to be playing Hero Box. And yeah, let's get started. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we're going to be playing Hero Box. And let's get started. Come on. This is how my Gigi duck over. She got this little like grass thing. One hundred present. Okay. Here on. We go. <laughs> the elves are here. They're watching me. Starting to look like Christmas is here. I write this all for you guys. I hope you subscribe and get a big thumbs up and click the bell up or down. I forgot. Who's Randy Kenny? This one or Randy Kenny? I know. But I hope you guys have a good Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope you have a good Merry Christmas. And yeah, I'm gonna give you a little guys towards my house. It's okay, this is messy at my house. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, Welcome out. back to the vlog. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're back vlogging. Wow, I look crazy, but whatever. Um, it is what it is. You can't win all the time. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So, uh, what's today? Today's Sunday, so today you would have been seeing a vlog, but you know your girl has been AWOL. Um, oh my god, I got a burp. Mm. So it's December 6th, it's 4.42. Don't mind my hair, it's just like in a braid, so it looks crazy. Just ate, I made um, pasta last night, and I just ate some more of it because I was starving. I didn't feel like cooking nothing new. 
so yeah today's sunday so i figured i would just come on here and pretty much tell you guys where i've been why i haven't been vlogging or anything like that so once i got back from florida i got so sick i didn't have covid thank the lord <clears throat> But I was so sick. I had a really bad cold. Um, I pretty much, I kind of still have it. Like, it's not going all the way. But I feel way better today than I have felt since I got back. I'm one of those people. I don't get sick, like, at all, really. But that one time that I do get sick, oh, you got to take me out the game. Like, <laughs> it's not working. So, yeah, I had, like, a really bad cough. Like, a hacking cough. Like, I thought at one point I was going to cough up a lung. Um... I just didn't feel well like some days I just my body was just not having it so I literally laid in my bed for like two weeks and slept um Harper had it first so she was sick so I was taking care of her and then she slept with me one night gave it to me then I was down um so yeah this was like focusing on getting myself back together that's why I haven't been doing anything and yeah and my schedule has been pretty dry because i told you guys i didn't take like any sponsorships or anything for hauls um i have two hauls that are gonna be going up once you guys see this or probably one before this video i don't know but i only took two hauls for december and one for january um so yeah now that i'm feeling better i'm ready to like just start filming like i want to go to sephora get some new makeup do some beauty videos just hang out with you guys and stuff like that i know you guys are wondering why i didn't do vlogs i was so sick i couldn't do it and i was i wasn't doing anything any day and i'm not one of those people that i've been outside going crazy for content um your girl is listening to the cdc they haven't there have been so many cases lately that i just i stay in the house i literally get my groceries delivered and then when i need something else i instacart it i'm always just like getting everything delivered through amazon so it's just packages non-stop but i saw a lot of you guys were like messaging me and saying you guys hope i'm okay and i just want to say thank you so much because that is so sweet of you guys i literally just it was so sick like it doesn't happen often but when it happens it's the worst for me and i just don't know how to cope with it and i wasn't taking medicine or anything i try not to take like cold medicine or stuff like that anymore um so yeah i just had to let it pass thankfully because i was sleeping so much i literally went to sleep the night before yesterday with a really bad cough like i was coughing like every two seconds like everybody hated me my friends one day called me on facetime they just was like you sound disgusting everybody in the house and i slept like 14 hours one night and because i went to sleep like super super early because like usually when harper had school i could get away with both of us falling asleep early um so yeah i slept really long and i woke up and like i didn't cough at all so yesterday i wasn't coughing at all but today is coming back just a little bit like i could tell it's just like the leftover mucus coming up but yeah so that's all i've really been up to um i need to like clean my class i have some pictures i need to take for a pre-roll day so freaking excited to get this sponsorship over and done with it because i'm just freaking tired i just cannot commit to the pictures especially because i can't go outside and i can't wear the clothes um i have a misguided haul i need to film i'll probably do that tomorrow ideally i should have did it today i try to film my hauls on the weekend because i can be more re well rested because i don't have to wake up for harper school but yeah that didn't go as planned so i need to do my nails i need to do my hair stuff like that i haven't done my hair since i've been back from disney um so yeah that's exciting but i really want like some long nails my nails are like so crooked like they've been like cracking and just growing out any types of way but yeah, I also listed some things on Adrian Reese's closet today for sale. I'm contemplating if I want to sell my Telfar bag. Like, I like the bag and I think it's cute, but I don't wear it as much. And I may have or may have not bought myself two designer things this week. You know, sometimes you just get a little bit bored in bed. So when I do buy myself stuff, I try to get rid of something in my room so that I don't become a hoarder. I'm practicing this rule. So... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm contemplating if I want to sell this bag. I like the bag itself, but I don't know. I just don't wear it as much. Um, it, what is that? So, yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you guys would like me to sell this. If I sell it, um, i probably just sell it for retail, honestly. But, yeah, so I did have something to unbox for you guys. 
so we got a little designer unboxing can you guys see it oh yeah so this is from saint Lerat. so yeah i picked this one from yso uh not from the yso store i picked this up from one of those like the online department stores um i picked it up because it's new season literally new season just came out but it was on sale so i just was like <laughs> let me get her while she's there and then if i don't like it i'll return it i always have to talk myself into this whole idea that you could buy things online and return it because i try not to i also bought a pair of shoes the other day well yesterday they were expensive <coughs> they were 1800 but i bought those yesterday so they should be here sometime this week as well in the vlog but i picked them up because you guys know i get a little bit of fomo when i see everybody has something and usually that makes people not want it but if i see a lot of people wearing something and i see them pulling it off in so many different types of ways i'm like damn did i miss out that did, did i sit the wrong thing out so the shoe came in stock well it didn't come in stock i think it like this miraculously was restocked because it's been out of stock all winter so i was like you know <laughs> i'm gonna just get her and if I don't like it, I'll return her. But you know, I'd rather say I, I I tried it than to say like I would I really liked it because I kept looking at them saying like I like these, I like these, I like these, I want these, but I was never going on my way to get them. So when it was so, and when it was in stock, I said this is a sign to spend the eighteen hundred dollars. So yes, I bought those yesterday and then I got this. I ordered this on Monday. This was actually not supposed to be here until next Tuesday coming up, but I don't know what got here today. So it just came in a dust bag in the box, which I hate when it's like from stores like this but you know what's crazy i think like out of all my designer bags the only ones that have come in boxes is like my louis vuitton ones and my dior yeah any other time i get like designer bags they always are just in a dust bag like even my prada one um but yeah so let's see because i don't know if i'm gonna like it or not okay are you ready <laughs> drum roll please she is really really cute so wow she's really cute actually wow i did that so i picked up a saint laurent sac de jour nano so i was a little all over the place with this purchase because i feel like a yso sac de jour is like a starter bag um i obviously don't don't take that too serious because i know siri says susan's in the comments they'd be like you say that your $45 lotion is expensive, but then you buy your daughter some Balenciagas. Okay, the lotion's gonna run out. The sneakers, she's gonna wear them all the time. And then when she's done with them, I can resell them. Like, make it make sense, sweetheart. But anyways, I'm practical patty, okay? So anyways, so I feel like sack the drawers are... Am I even saying that right? But whatever. I feel like these YSL bags are classic staple bags, but I feel like they're starter bags at the same time because... Hold on, I have a text message. Let me check this one so um yeah so i feel like they're starter bags because i don't know i just feel like everybody gets these as their first bags and when i was getting like my first designer bag well my first like designer bag that i got i really wanted this bag in their standard black um but i think they're really expensive for what they are like i think it's astronomical for the size of the bag and the bag itself um so yeah i never ended up getting it and then i was like do I really need a sack de drawer like when I have the Dior and all my other bags? Because people seem to think these are like my only bags that I have. But these are just the bags that I put right there because those are the only ones I wear right now. So, yeah. Um, but she's so, so cute. So, she comes in this patent leather, which I, is brand new. She has Gold Harbor, which you guys know I love. Um, and I just thought this would look so cute, like with sweatpants, jeans, like it'll dress it up because of the material. I haven't seen anybody with this one because everybody just gets the standard black one. So I paid 1600 for her. Yeah, 16, yeah, 1660 or 1690 or something like that. It has the longer adjustable strip. Um, I actually had this bag in the medium before um but i got rid of it i never really carried it i had like one picture on instagram state i didn't really like it so <coughs> yeah but because this one is patent leather like it really is going to maintain this shape for a while um and it has like button things right here so that you could stretch the sides out 
Um, I think I'm gonna get a bag organizer for this bag. I follow a company from like South Korea that I call like Samorga or something. Um, they make bag organizers for like every bag you can freaking think of, like even bum bags. So I think I'm gonna get one for this just to create like extra pockets. <clears throat> but it just has the button with the key for the lock on here. She got her plastic on her. Love to see it because she's brand spanking new. And then it has like one box, one pocket in here. But yeah, this is super, super cute. I'm so happy I got it because I actually went back to the site like four days later and it was gone. Like it's not on sale anymore. Um, and I didn't know that it was like a new arrival for St. Laurent. Like it literally just came out um, for them. So yeah, we love a good sale item. So how cute is she? Oh my gosh, she's going to look so cute with my shoes even though she don't match. But you guys know I have the YSL opium pumps with the girl pump bomb fire. I don't know why I love like matching all my brains at one time. It's so tacky, but I love doing it. So yeah, so this was my pickup of the day. AKA my literally my pickup because I was like, I have a package to open. Um meanwhile I literally was laying next to the dust bag for like seven hours. Like I was not pressed to open it, which is sad. But Yes, yeah, so I think after this, um, I think after this, my next bag, I have like a couple bags that I plan on getting next. It's like two Louis Vuitton bags I plan on getting after this. Um, a Chanel, a, a basic classic flat, and then a top handle cocoa, and then um, two Goyard bags. And then I think I'm done with bags for a while. But yeah, I just got this because it's awesome. It just was but yeah, so, so, so good. So I'm about to lay down because I'm starting to like feel like woozy a little bit because I feel like I need to cough up some mucus. Um, so I'm going to lay down and watch TV. I've been watching Madam Secretary on Netflix and a teacher on Hulu. And I'm going to watch um, Power a little bit in a little bit. So, and then cook dinner. And then I bought some brownie mix. I can pick some brownie cupcakes. Oh, and I need to order a gingerbread house to make a Harper yeah i need to do that so yeah i will see you guys tomorrow just got back um it's cold to the house i took harper on a walk today because she was going crazy being in this house like she could not she's not built for quarantine so we um i hate how those messages are so we went for a walk we walked like a mile give or take not a full mile almost a mile though um it's not that cold outside and then we went to a little sandwich shop just near my house and got some sandwiches because i'm like i love deli sandwiches so much but if i buy a pound of lunch meat i don't ever eat it all i actually don't ever get around to eating it like i have one or two sandwiches but then when i buy half a pound i eat it all it's really weird it kind of frustrates me so i stopped buying it because deli meat's high as hell um and i just was wasting it like wasting the cheese and stuff um, oh my goodness so yeah i stopped buying it so we picked up some sandwiches and then we went to get some of my candy oh i didn't bring my candy upstairs my peach rings girl i picked up some candy and stuff so we just had you want me to go get it no, I don't need it right now. We had some sandwiches and some chips and stuff for lunch. But, yeah, I'm about to just lay down and watch TV because my nose is running. It started running when I was outside, so I need to, like, just no. relax for a second. But I got some stuff in the mail. I'm going to show you guys. So, my shoes didn't come yet. I called yesterday to ask, like, where they were at because I just feel as though when I buy something from the designer itself, I expect it to be shipped within one to two days and I expect it to be to me over like not overnight but like express delivery these shoes didn't ship yet they are shipping from the New York store they have not got around to it I ordered them on Saturday it is now about to be Friday so yeah, they just annoyed the crap out of me but I'm gonna just give it um I'm gonna just give it a few more days I know it's taking them so long to ship it because the charge fell off of my card. You know, um, 
you know I don't know how it, know it knows that but like basically because it's not put in a shipped in the system it gave me my money back but then like if they decide to ship it it'll take the money back I don't know whatever so yeah I need to check my email so I didn't check my email today so the other day um I got an email I think it was like Black Friday week and Juno and Co did a buy one get one for one dollar thing um you guys know i actually like juno and co so i went on there to get some more sponges so i got the cloud makeup sponge oh my god my eyes are like starting to hurt hey juno husband you're ridiculous so this is the cloud one so this one's like cream it's really really soft but i really like the juno and co sponges like you never try them they're bomb and they sell them at Target now. They're like only five dollars. Um, I actually gravitate towards these more than my beauty blenders. So yeah, and I only use the um beauty blender pro. I don't use the regular beauty blenders. But then I picked up the lemon drop sponge. What's the difference between these microfiber? They're twins. So these are the exact same sponges because I think that was the whole buy one get one it was putting a lot of stuff in my cart for one dollar but it was just some stuff i know they need so i like to remove it um this one is the like traditional microfiber one this one is like really nice for makeup and putting powder under your eye because it's microfiber um so it has a flat bottom but it's pointed. <laughs> but yeah so that one's more this other one i just showed you it's more of like a traditional beauty blender feel like smooth where this one you can feel the microfiber and they have a lot of different ones. Like I have the blue one um, and the pink one. So you have two of those. And then I picked up, uh, <coughs> excuse me. I picked up the skin thing. Oh my God, it's like sticking to me. This is called the facial cleansing brush. I don't know why. I picked this up just because it looks like the um, Foreo one. I think that's the brand, Foreo, Foreo, whatever. Um, and I think that one costs like $2.49 or something like that or like $1.99 or something. I never got it because I don't know like if it actually is amazing or not. I know people say it is, but those of you who sponsor content. So I picked this one up because this one was only like $20. So I just wanted to try it to see like if it was good. So it has Girl. a power thing right here for the charger and then the power button. Can I feel mommy? So you could... Do the vibration. Oh, that feels good. Feels good. Yeah, so I'll try this tonight washing my face and it has two different bristle sizes. So this bristle size is like small and then this one is um like more square. Um so oh this smells terrible. Why there's so much sugar in it? Um but yeah, I'm gonna try this out. Just because my skin is so dry right now from it being cold outside. And I just picked up like a new moisturizer and stuff. I picked up the Burt's Bee stuff because Stephanie always says the Burt's Bees line is really good because like it's all natural. Like there's no stuff in it. So I picked that stuff up the other day from Amazon too. Um, but my skin is so dry. Like literally I'm peeling it all day. Like sometimes I'll just go like this and feel like a piece of dead skin and I'll pull it off. So I just wanted to try this for exfoliation and I like it better than the spin brushes because it's silicone so it doesn't harbor like bacteria. Um, then I picked up a cleansing balm. I've used a cleansing balm before. I used a cleansing balm. Why can I not get this open? I used a cleansing balm. I don't know if you guys know what I used to do. You might as well sing the song too. Ooh. Um, I used to use a cleansing balm when I used to do the like 10 step Korean skincare which was ridiculous if you guys know when I used to do my blog I blogged about it before I used to use it then um, I wasn't crazy about it because the oil used to like clog my pores and I know that's not supposed to happen but yeah I don't know how I'm supposed to get this open but yeah the oil used to like clog my pores it takes off makeup really really well but it's messy like i rather just use a cleanser three times literally that's usually what i do that wash my face over and over yeah so this one is called clean 10 cleanse nourish and purify this is what she looks like the reviews for it were really really good that's where i got it too um i actually like like juno and co like for all their products their brushes and everything and they're so affordable mm, it smells like lemons so yeah i picked up that and then what is this 
Cacao No More Pour Deep Cleansing Mask. Ooh, yes, because I need this today. This is a kale and probiotic mask. Need to put this on my face. Put a thin layer on clean skin. Let mask sit for five to ten minutes. And the packaging is so nice. And these are literally like ten dollars. Like, but drugstores could never. So this is what this mask looks like. It smells like kale. Not really kale, but like I don't know something nutritious. And then the last thing I picked up. This I actually wanted the most. And it was the most expensive, but because I got all this other junk, I only paid one dollar for this. I was like, hell yeah. So basically, I bought all that other stuff to get this for a dollar. Like, I'm one of those assholes where I could just bought the one thing that I wanted. But I was like, no. Mine will get everything else. So this is the Juno and Co. Moonshine Miracle Cream. And the reviews on this were so freaking good. My whole nail just bent. That's why I need to paint them. So, first of all, get into the packaging. So it says, you got it glowing on. Apply cream to face and neck with a gentle massage until fully absorbs. Close your eyes and make a wish. Baby, you're a star. And I just, the reviews sold me. So I think it's like a moisturizer, but people say it works. Actually, people, I think it's a toner. I mean, a toner, a primer, actually. And people say it just is amazing. So I'm gonna use it like as a moisturizer primer combo. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on that when I do my makeup, but that's all I got. So I look crazy, but you know, who would I be if I didn't come onto the vlog looking crazy? So today's Saturday. <clears throat> so I'm actually about to edit this vlog that you are about to see. And I didn't do anything this week, but one, I'm trying to get back into vlogging but i haven't done much my skin is breaking out so bad um i haven't done much i'm saying my skin is breaking out so bad and here i am picking it ah! i haven't done much this week though um <clears throat> i just don't go anywhere you know um so i know you guys wouldn't mind like seeing me do stuff around the house but i haven't been doing anything because the house is clean and i did all my christmas shopping so yeah um, in the next vlog, I'll show you guys the tree downstairs, um, the trees actually, because there's freaking eight trees in my house. It's freaking disgusting. Like, I just, I just can't. But yeah, I finished Christmas shopping for Harper um, and my godson. I just have to buy my stepdad a gift. Um, and other than that, I'm done. But I know what I'm getting him already. I just have to order. I haven't ordered it yet um so yeah like i did plan originally on like doing my christmas shopping in the vlog but christmas shopping is just so lackluster without toys r us like you go to target and it's just like eight toys and the next thing you know you're amazon and stuff so yeah but harper is done for the most part she is driving me crazy every day how many days till christmas can i open a present how many days 14 days is so long like um so yeah, I have two packages right here that I'm going to open with you guys. Um, I just woke up from a nap. It's like the 7.54. I woke up from my nap like 6.59 on the dot. Um, and I woke up and my body felt really hot. Like, I don't have a fever, but I just feel really hot. Um, I need to go to the, my GP and get my air checked. Because a while ago, I felt like I had a cut in my ear like from scratching with my nail. And I feel like I cut my ear and I feel like it never healed because I kept, you know how like when you have one of those cuts that's so annoying that you continue to itch it? I felt like I kept doing that. But now I feel like my ear is not producing wax. <laughs> it's really weird. Um, yeah, because it's never nothing in this ear. So I don't know what's going on. And then I know the whole point of wax forming in your ear is to protect you from things. So I need to get that looked at um, because it still like bothers me. Like some days it just like irritates me. So like I'm always going like this sometimes now. Um, but yeah, so I woke up from my nap just feeling like disgusting. Um, but I like cleaned my room yesterday and everything up here. I did my laundry yesterday and I didn't do my laundry for like a month and two weeks. So I finally did it. I don't even know. I didn't even know I had enough clothes like enough lounge clothes to last me a month and a 
month and some change. The only reason I did my laundry was because I ran out of panties, so yeah. Um, but right now I'm watching A Million Little Things on Hulu. So yeah, tomorrow my plan is to just do my nails, get back to looking like a human. I haven't done my hair in weeks. So I really want to get my eyelashes done, but that's not necessary right now. Um, they actually like grow. My eyelashes look like way, not way thicker, but like thicker than they usually do. I want to take my eyelash extensions out, which is crazy. But I just been watching like everybody's vlogmas and wow, so inspiring. I would have, I would have did vlogmas this year, um, being like a new YouTuber and all, but, um, yeah, you guys know, I just was like, I just so happened to take time off at the same time. But, yeah, I mean, you're still gonna get a vlog every week, so it'll be alright. Um, I did, I was laughing yesterday because I was watching Aaliyah's vlog, and I swear me and her sometimes we talk about the exact same things, or, like, she'll say something, and I'll be like, I literally just filmed it, and I didn't put it in, like, the, it's not edited in a new vlog yet. Um, but she was talking about her giveaway, and I don't know if you don't follow me on Instagram, which you should. I asked a week ago what you guys would like to win in the giveaway um and stuff like that so i decided i think i already talked about it in this vlog i decided that i'm basically gonna curate a box of like my favorite things first of all i asked y'all what y'all wanted in the vlog and y'all was saying like dealer bags and shit like first of all go to jacqueline hill's page for that i'll give away that type of stuff at some point in my life but i ain't gonna buy my own dealer bag so <clears throat> Maybe we'll get like my boyfriend in cahoots with buying y'all a gift or something. But for right now, um, I just was gonna basically curate y'all a box of all my, not like my favorite things, but like some staple items that I use every single day. Um, and like some of my things you always hear me talk about in the vlogs or like videos. So yeah, the only thing is, let me know down below in the comments. I don't know if I should announce the giveaway at like, well, I don't know. Like, should I announce the giveaway? Say right now. It's kind of early because I'm only at 41,000. But like, should I announce the giveaway right now so that I get a lot of new subscribers? But like, the only reason I don't want to do that is because I would hate for like a new subscriber to win the package when it could have been like one of y'all that like found me the authentic way and y'all been here since the beginning and y'all telling your friends and your cousins and i be seeing y'all to be tweeting me and dropping me and y'all favorite influencers and favorite youtubers thank you guys so much so <clears throat> should i do a video announcing the giveaway and then when we get to 50k we announce the winner or should i just curate the gift and whenever we reach 50k whenever the hell that is um then we do the package giveaway let me know because both ways it makes sense but i don't know and it just bothers me because i wish i could just give some something to everybody <laughs> because like i wouldn't be here without you guys so it kind of sucks that like i'm gonna let a computer pick someone um i'm gonna make sure it's not someone that like doesn't show me love like i'm gonna try to make sure that it's somebody um <clears throat> that has like commented on most of my videos or you know just been a part of the whole journey like not someone who just came and said some hate and that shit because people do be saying hate and stuff on my videos so yeah i am going to monitor that type of stuff and i know that's exactly what Ali was saying like i really agree with that um but like i wish i could just dm all the girls that i know that have like watched all my videos the second that they go up and they've been here since day one and they're just so positive and so sweet i do plan on doing something for all of those girls because i do know who y'all are um but yeah i do plan on doing something for you guys in the near future i just have to like let these things come to me like aha moments i don't like try to force anything um but for the 50k giveaway i do want to do something so yeah i was gonna do like a cash prize but i feel like people want money but i feel like at the same time it's kind of just boring so yeah i'm gonna do like a little luxury item it's one of my favorite luxury items it's something that i have it's something that i bought every single one of my best friends so once y'all get it you can be a part of the gang too because i got one stephanie got one christina got one um i basically literally just cashed out on everybody one year my mom got one um so yeah you're gonna have one too and then like i said just a few other little items that i always use um speaking of a pandemic are y'all getting the shot <laughs> 
my mom like literally always has cnn on the tv like i don't know how she watches i don't watch the news because i just don't need that type of negativity in my life like i don't go outside i don't watch the news because i don't put myself in a situation to get it i mean i can't get it don't get me wrong but like i don't put myself in a situation like yeah i'm out here every single weekend oops i call covid like feel bad for me no like i don't go anywhere you guys know that i don't have, i haven't even seen my own friends because my own friends be doing too much for me right now i can't trust my own friends so i just be by myself all day um but yeah, let me know if y'all getting a shot. So, I mean, you know, I know people that are in, like, healthcare and stuff are going to have to get it. Um, but, yeah. So, I don't know if you guys know this packaging, but this is the Mina Monroe packaging. Oh, my God. My Instagram has been showing me, like, the same post. Like, if I don't like somebody's picture, it's just always in my timeline. Like, I saw the picture and I don't care to like it. Remove it. Put somebody else's picture there. Ugh. But anyway, so during her Black Friday, so... I saw a picture of her using my slur and I was like, oh, I want those. I didn't need them, but she wouldn't want to sell, so I just bought them. So I picked up the pajama set that she had. Um, I bought both colors because me and her are, like, similar in skin, skin complexion, and these types of colors look really nice on our skin tone, like, brown with, like, a nice golden undertone, especially when I have a tan, like, if I go and get a tan this year. Um, why does it say the color is too when this is clearly orange? But yeah, so I picked up the orange and it has like brown wire. And then I picked up the purple and it has a red. So I don't know what shoes I would wear. That she wore monochromatic and it was really cute. But I'm not going to go buy like a pair of bodegas that are in the same color just for this outfit. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but I just bought that because I thought if I ever needed to wear something dressy, I could just throw that on. This one is from Skims. You guys know, I didn't really care for my skim set that i have so i never repurchased it and i was like and like think i'm weird because everybody says they love it and i'm just like i don't think it's worth the money and you guys know i'm a basic like lounge recorder and i love all my bras from um urban outfitters like if you guys ever see me in the bralette it's nine out of ten from urban and i never had an issue with the quality they're always in stock obviously and they just always come out in like new colors new materials so i always buy it from there so when i got this stuff from urban outfitters i mean from urban outfitters from skims i just wasn't crazy about it honestly so i never like rebought anything and like i just feel like it looks best on people like with nice butts and flat stomachs so and i'm not saying it's nothing wrong with my body but I just don't do nothing for me for me to spend all the money that it costs but i bought something from the new release so you guys know it comes in like the biodegradable recyclable packaging or whatever but i picked up the nightgowns um just because they looked so comfortable when she tried them on these are really really soft i'm not gonna try them on for you today because i'm lazy af um but yeah so i just picked these up because i love not having clothes on these days so I figured a nightgown would be really nice. And I every time like I'm around my boyfriend and stuff, I like wearing stuff like this. Just because I look pulled together and I don't look like a child <laughs> in pajamas. So yeah, I picked these up. So I got the tan one. And I got the uh, uh, white one. These were expensive. I think I spent $175 on both of them. Both of them. Like that's ridiculous but whatever treat yourself don't beat yourself so yeah don't say the prices oh uh, they were 156 for both of them yeah i got them in a size medium um because you guys would think that i'm a small i am a small but I like my stuff form fitting but at the same time i just like being comfortable so i just buy everything in a medium i mean they're dresses so they're gonna fit tight anyways like look at them they're tiny um but yeah so these are really really cute the tag is really cute it's on the front it reminds me of the um oh no it's on the back sorry it reminds me of the mesh mesh key logoing like having exposed tagging and stuff but these are really really nice so i just picked these up you'll probably see me wear these outside because why the hell not um but yeah that's all i bought so i need to figure out what i'm gonna eat for dinner i really want some spaghetti but i didn't take ground beef out to thaw so no spaghetti for me and i hate how like you could order uber eats and stuff but i be wanting like real food and where the hell do you order spaghetti from like i'm not gonna order spaghetti from a pizza shop that's they're basically gonna give me like chef boyardee or some shit like i'm cool but yes yeah, so i'm gonna figure out what i'm gonna eat edit this vlog for you guys 
and then yeah i'll see you guys next week hopefully we'll be a little bit more productive i have a couple errands to run next week so hopefully we'll be outside but yeah thank you guys for watching i know you guys missed me and i missed you too um but yeah so make sure y'all answer all my questions that i asked y'all in the vlog and i just wanted to say i got an email today is it in this phone or is it the other phone i got a from youtube creators basically like a 2020 highlight and y'all we did that so it says you joined youtube 1070 days ago i always have my youtube account up though um because i watch youtube so yeah you guys know i wasn't uploading that long but it says from your first video upload until now your fans have smashed the like button 91,652 times you've inspired some good conversations fans left 7,088 comments and shared your content to uh, 3,016 times it said 2020 didn't stop you from making moves you picked up 40,875 new subscribers and 2.3 million new views y'all did that y'all did that so yeah thank you guys so much i'm so excited to do this giveaway though because i don't know i just like i love giving back i really really do it's one of my favorite things to do um it just made I, i'm one of those people like i gotta talk myself into spending money on myself like if i'm always unsure of something i call kylo and i'd be like should i buy this and he'd be like yeah and then like, boom i buy it like no questions asked and if he said no i close it um i just need i always need constant verification to do something for myself um but when it comes to doing things for other people i just love 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 it i don't know it just makes me feel so good so i always do stuff for my friends and that's even why like i go out and i always make sure to bring something back for her but like i don't know i just like making people happy so i'm really excited to like give back to you guys and do something really nice for you guys it's like my token of appreciation again i wish i could send something to all fifty thousand of y'all um but in the new year my plans are to basically once we do the 50k giveaway um once a month i'm gonna give something away so whether it be like a cash prize or an actual gift once a month we're gonna do a giveaway it's gonna be very random it's not gonna be like publicized it's gonna basically be like me sitting here and just being like oh yeah by the way mini giveaway da -da 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 -da. and we'll just see who wins it um so yeah i just want to like just show how appreciative i am of y'all because y'all made 2020 a really really great year for me um and it's so crazy me and my friends talk about this all the time but like 2020 has been the worst year of so many people's lives like losing loved ones getting sick themselves financial hardships losing a job like just everything the world threw at us this year you know it really has been a very defining year for a lot of people and honestly i am very humbled to say like that none of that stuff has affected me you know i woke up this entire pandemic i've never been affected whether it was emotionally and financially health wise you know i mean like mentally wise because i was stuck in the house but like i was always okay you know like, i wake up every day and everybody that i love the most in my life um has not been affected by this pandemic and we have all been okay and i just have been thriving as a person i learned so much about myself this year i've been in, i've been able to do so many good things for the people that i love in my life and the people that have always done for me and given to me this year like thanks to you guys oh my god i'm getting emotional as always but yeah so like i really owe you guys because it could have been a really shitty year for me um but i love y'all and you know we started off very vulnerable and i know we kind of shifted from that because i haven't been going through anything but i plan to do like more videos um just talking to the girls that had babies young and my journey with it and stuff like that um but yeah so all right i'm gonna go edit this video because i just been talking to talk now and i know y'all don't want to hear me talk this much because y'all be telling me i talk too much but yeah so i will see you guys next week thank you guys so much for watching and yeah i love you guys we're getting ready for the holidays happy holidays um i know the holidays could be a very emotional time for some people as well it's always a very emotional time for my mom um because christmas was like her and her dad's thing so you know like i get it but sending my love to everyone send my positivity to all of you guys and yeah don't be afraid to dm me write me in the comments because you guys know i try to respond to everybody so yeah i will see you guys next week and that's it bye guys